view receipt details so if you recall in our previous module we have received the services against the purchase order lines and generated the invoice now we are in the suppliers view and logged in into iSupplier portal so we will go and see how receipt details can be viewed under iSupplier portal so I'm going to go back to Oracle applications iSupplier portal and I'm at the home page so there are few ways in which you can go and see the receipt first way is you click on the purchase order either by going to orders tab or by going from here or via the home page so let's try this option this time okay and then how can you view the purchase order receipt details from here is you see on the right hand side under the summary you will see received and then you've got $1100 worth of services being received so you click on that it's a hyperlink actually so when you click on that it will retrieve the lines pertaining to the receipts that have been received by the requisitioner okay so you can see the receipt number over here for both the lines and if you wish to explore it further see the receipt itself you can click on that particular receipt to view more information about that receipt you see the details of that okay and as you could see there is a link provided to the invoice generated against this receipt over here itself so it's an easy way for suppliers to quickly navigate around instead of going to multiple views so if you click on this one it will take you to the invoice form wherein you can see the invoice details okay so you can see another line over here so that's one way of viewing the receipt against purchase order so what's the second way of viewing it so we have come this time via the purchase order then we've gone to the lines and viewed the receipt second way is you can directly jump onto this particular shipment step okay within this you've got several different criteria using which you can search it either by the organization or by the PO number or the supplier item or item number so in this case it's services so we didn't had particular item so I would prefer to use the purchase order number for a receipt and then I would hit the go button so it's gonna okay sorry so we are in delivery schedule tab which is incorrect so we're going to go to the receipts tab which is where it's gonna pull up the receipt information so place that PO number over here as you could see there are several other ways in which you can search including the shipment number but no shipment number is generated in case of receiving against services so I'm going to click here go and as soon as I click go over here it's retrieved the receipt over here so our receipt number is 9070 let's count to check it you see that's the one and then if you click on this particular hyperlink it's going to take you to the details of the receipt okay so that's another way to view it and if you go back to that particular form you can see within this receipt summary form you've got also a hyperlink to the purchase order number and related invoice so if you want to see the PO related to this receipt you can click on this hyperlink and view more details over here okay now in the next movie I'm gonna explain you how you can view the invoice as a supplier within iSupplier portal mm -hmm.